Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a new eye look. Well, it's not a new eye look, but you know, I haven't done this look in so long. Um, I wanted to do a halo eye using the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette. Um, I don't really have a lot of new makeup right now because I'm not really seeing anything that is like standing out to me that I personally like. Um, I know there probably are some stuff out there. So if you guys know anything, you know, please let me know in the comments what palettes or anything I should try because right now I'm just not seeing anything. You know, maybe it's because I'm limiting myself because I'm not really big into bright colors and, you know, a whole bunch of glitter shimmer. You know, I'm really a nude girl, simple, smoky eye. Like, I love that look. But I know for my channel, I have to step out of my box and try some things for people that may be into those looks, especially if you had you have hooded eyes. I want to start doing some looks that will help with hooded eyes as well as help me because I have a hard time doing my makeup because my I don't have a lot of real estate on my eyelids. So, you know, the looks that everybody else can do, I can't always get away with because the shadow be up here. So we're going to be learning together, you know, the best things that work for hooded eyes. Um, I would love for you guys to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. I'm going to start with my La Mer Moisturizing Cream. I love this stuff. It's just so good for the winter months. Cause it's a mess out here in these streets. So cold. It's just not even like. And I'm also going to use some of the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado. I like this stuff too. It is very good for under eye because I suffer from extreme darkness and I have like bags underneath my eye from my good old dad i gotta get some new makeup and stuff for my channel like i went to sephora yesterday and it's like nothing jumped out at me like where is all the exciting like releases and stuff like i'm using the same makeup over and over again because i'm just not impressed with anything like nothing's standing out i'm going to use the becca under eye brightening corrector underneath my foundation I remember when I used to um, go outside <laughs> every day and work, when I used to assist stylists and stuff, I would always take time out, even though, because I would travel from Philly to uh, New York every day you, on the mega bus or um, Amtrak, and I would be on the bus like six o'clock in the morning with the light on or the light from my phone, like doing my makeup on the bus. We're going to use the Huda Beauty Foundation in Cinnamon 440G. I used to love to do my makeup in the morning. Like it just, it's crazy because I feel like I did a better job then <laughs> than I do now on my makeup. And I was literally doing it on a bus, but it just gave me such satisfaction just sitting on a bus and I would, and I don't even think I was using, I wasn't even wearing foundation at the time. I just was doing concealer and powder. I used to um, just put the concealer and my, um, my powder and stuff on, do my eyebrows. Like it just <laughs> a whole mess, a whole mess sitting on this bus. And by the time we pulled into 57th and 7th in NYC, when I tell you baby face was done and I'll be getting off the bus, whole brown, smoky eye, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, whole brown, smoky eye going on, all of this to pick up clothes, unload trunks and steam clothes if i never see another steamer again in life even though i steam my own clothes now like i haven't used an iron in girl 
I steam my uh, husband's clothes. I don't even like, I just, I can't deal with the iron. I'm just so used to steaming now. Even though I hate it, I still like, I have to steam my clothes because it's just like embedded in me now. And I remember I used to work at, um, when I first started in um, fashion, I'm using the Born This Way concealer in Mocha, uh, multi-use sculpting concealer. Um, when I first started in retail, when I wanted to be a stylist, um, I learned how to fold clothes, even though I hate folding clothes now, but I learned how to fold clothes the proper way. Like you can learn a lot working in retail. Like I know, you know, everybody wants to be the head man in charge now, but you can learn a lot working in retail and you make a lot of good connections and a lot of good friends. The money isn't the best, but honestly, working in fashion until you get to a certain level I'm not going to say the money isn't good because it is. It's just getting your money. And anybody that's worked in fashion, they can tell you a thousand percent the biggest issue working in fashion besides the egos, money. When I do a job in April, there's no need me even looking for my money until December, January of the next year. Like, Let's blend out this concealer. Chloe is asleep so mommy can film in peace because sis it's like she want her 15 minutes of fame and she don't know mommy ain't got but 15 followers but you can't tell her that because she when this camera turns on Chloe be on it Chloe is teething right now, and you guys got to see her mouth. All the front of her top and bottom teeth are missing. It's just like the cutest thing you ever want to see in life. So now I have to soften her food up. And I knew she was teething. I knew she was teething. She's been acting like really strange. And like I said, I knew she was teething, but... I don't know the things that they have to go through. Like, is it the same as humans? Because she has been acting like she always is like when you pick her up, she wants to chew on your fingers. She wants to chew on your chin. Like, I just chalk that up as her form of play. But now that I'm, you know, doing more research and Googling and stuff, it's like their teeth, the teething is uncomfortable for them. I said, I know she's a puppy and I know she's playful, but like, Chloe, what's going on, girl? Let's start with the Morphe E22 brush. Is in focus? Yes. And I'm going to use, there's no name on the color, but I'm going to use this color right here in the corner. And just stamp it. Blend it. I like Huda's um, shadows. I get some nice pigment and they blend really well. And I like her small ones because I don't like her shadows enough to be paying 60 and $70. So she did great coming out with the smaller ones because this is more my vibe. Because Huda is not that deep for me to be paying $70 for a palette. Like I haven't seen anything that I'm like, okay, I need this. Well, now I'm going to use a Sigma um, F63 brush and I'm going to use do I want to yeah I'm going to use this color right here in the corner I guess it's like this dark I wouldn't even say orange it's like a dark brown and stamp it right in the corner Thank <laughs> you. 
and I'm going to take a Sonia G mini booster. I'm assuming this is a blending brush and I am going to, nope, I don't like that brush. Let's take a Morphe. Oh, this is another one. I got two E22s. Well, this is a clean E22 and we're going to blend. It's so difficult, like having hooded eyes, like trying to do different eye looks. At least it's difficult for me. I'm not sure about anybody else. It's difficult for me. Okay, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this color on top. Stamp it, just to deepen it up a little bit. Just not a lot. It wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't forget something because I like to do my eyebrows first before my eyeshadow, but of course I forgot. So let's stop for a second and do the brows. I wouldn't be me if I didn't work backwards. Of course, I'm going to sit with the Benefit 24-hour brow setter. So I'm going to take, I want to do... This is too, like, orangey. Do I want to do this color? Or do I want to do this color? Let's do the orangey color. And I didn't want to do this, but it's so pretty. Let's do the orangey color. So I'm going to take a little bit of it on my fingers and... getting it everywhere but where it's supposed to be there we go girl know if it's from the residual wetness but I'm not putting any more like let's brush off I do want to try, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with a uh, makeup artist. Um, she does runway makeup and fashion makeup like Pat McGrath. Her name is Gucci Westman. She has a makeup brand that's out. And I've been thinking about trying that, but I'm just not sure because it's just so expensive and it kind of looks a little bland, a little like, you know. A little vanilla so I'm not really sure if I want to try it or not because I don't know if it's going to show up on my skin or because it's it's expensive like I'm using the um, Bobbi Brown bronzer in deep four and I'm using a Tom Ford brush number six so I want to try that but when I looked at the prices on Sephora I was like What's going on with everybody? Like, did the panorama leave? Like, the prices is killing the kid. My inner rim of my eye, I'm going to use the Maybelline Studio Tattoo in Bold Brown, the pencil. I love a brown pencil. I'll be taking a chance using these liners because you know my eyes. So now for the bottom, we're going to go back into the Huda palette and we're going to use this color right in the corner. We're going to put it, we're going to smoke out that brown liner.
So underneath that, I'm going to take this um, orangey color in the corner and I'm going to go underneath uh, this color. Where am I? Okay, I'm going to go underneath this color. <laughs> For blush, we're going to use the Fenty Cream in Rose Latte. I'm going to take the KKW um, Lip Liner Pencil in Nude 2 and line my lip. I'm going to use the Hourglass um, Lip Gloss in Strike. I've been trying to decide if I want to do a liner, like a wing. And I think I might... Let's try <laughs> This is th this most stressful part of doing my makeup is the lashes and the liner. Like, I don't know who's in charge. So I'm going to have to go off a of camera and do this because there's no way in the world I can concentrate on camera and do this because this is getting ready to be embarrassing. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to put this on and my lashes too. And I'll be back. Guys. Do you see what's going I have lashes on and I don't think they're sitting up. Like they're not lifted up in the corners. I don't I don't know what's going on, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> like this is great. I was looking and I feel like my lips are a little dark, so I just want to brighten them up just a little bit. So I'm going to use um, the Pat McGrath uh, Dare to Bear Gloss in the middle. Not that I need these to be any bigger. But, yeah, that's better. Just to brighten them up a little bit. I just feel like it was a little dark. So, I'm going to use the new Lancome. What's the name of this? Idol Lash. This is the one um, Zendaya's in the ad. I bought this just the fact that I saw her. I love her. So let's do the bottom lash. I cannot believe I have lashes on and they're not sitting up in the corner. Like I'm about to sleep in these. I have really thin lashes. So I love um, mascara brushes that have these tiny little bristles. I can't use the big fat bristle brushes because they don't grip my lashes and I get mascara everywhere. And this formula is not too wet, which I like. It's like the perfect consistency. Like when your mascara gets old, it's not too thin and it's not too thick. This is the... This is how this formula is, and I love it. Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dewy Set Spray, and I don't have my wrap. So guess what we're about to do? We're about to improvise. We're gonna take a robe. I actually like this better. Hey guys, so we are all done. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would love for you to comment, like, and subscribe and share to your friends if you want to um, so they can come join our little community and, you know, see what's going on over here in the world of makeup and fashion and home decor. And I promise I'm going to get to all of that stuff. I'm just trying to get my footing in to these videos. YouTube is way harder than I thought it was going to be. It's fun, but you know, it's not like 
the olden days where you can take a old rinky dink camera and just film and you know everybody's videos are so advanced and so like fancy smancy and I'm over here still trying to get the lighting right so you know, I'm going to add these things into my channel. I just want to work out the kinks so I can give you guys the best quality and the best look that I can give. Now, I can do a video where I'm showing like certain pieces out of my closet and um, like certain important pieces maybe. You know, I'll come up with some things. And if you guys have any idea, you know, let me know or what you might want to see as far as fashion. So... Um, I'm not really big into hauls because um, I buy pieces, you know, per season. I try to buy certain pieces per season from my favorite designers. So I don't really have enough to do, I guess, what a traditional haul is, you know, maybe three, four things. So, I mean, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I have no problems doing that. Um, but other than that, um, I hope you guys like this look. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.